Hello everybody and welcome to my TWE T-Log! As you can see behind me, you join me at the Wham Stadium for the reason why I'm doing this video. This stadium is home to and have been promoted to League One, which is two tiers behind the Premier League and it's the first biggest promotion in 50 years. For a little club like that, that's um, pretty... it's good. It's very, very good. Now, I don't know when the parade starts, but I'm being a bit twilight sparkle early. Being twilight early. But, uh, I'm used to it, you know, because of the Remembrance uh, Sunday ceremonies that I go to. And the thing is, yes they are promoted, but not only they are promoted, but they are also the champions of League Two. Yes. So, we will get to see the League Two trophy very, very soon. As for me, I am trying to get the best place to observe the Accrington Stanley bus to see the players wave to the crowd and say, Yay, we got promoted and we're champions! Yay, yay, yay! <laughs> and it's also my first football parade that I've ever been to. So, could be good practice if I ever get to see a Newcastle United parade bus. So join me later on that. Oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, I'm back. And so far, it seems like there is no parade happening. Because it just seems like a complete waste of time. I'm just getting complete mixed information. Because I went over to the WAM, where Accrington Stanley play, and asked when the parade starts. They had no idea. They thought it would be three o'clock or something like that. And I tried to find the best locations to wait for the open top bus to arrive. Nothing. Then I happened to see some Stanley fans who gave me some information that apparently the parade doesn't start until 5 p.m. Uh, what? Are you serious? 5 p.m. And in this location where I am now, towards well, that turning in the Castle Hotel, and down that road, nice bridge by the way, I thought that would be the, the route where the bus would go because it would lead down the corner across the roundabout and onto the town hall because that's where it's going to because the, the players are going to go off the bus and do a meet and greet to the fans but I was told that by the Stanley fans that it's not happening, it's not going that way instead it's going through Broadway not, and not in New York and through Union Road, which I'm not sure where that is. So, here's my plan. I'm going to go back to by where the Wham is and uh, wait there. Try and find uh, a shady place because it's pretty hot and you don't want to be in the sun in midday time. So, maybe there could be a shaded place near the Wham Stadium and I'll, I'll just wait there. That, that would seem to be the obvious solution. So maybe we'll see the bus 
leaving the Wham Stadium. Who knows? Join me later. back and that is that first thought it was kind of like uh, when I went to Great British Brony Con in Manchester in 2015 a little bit I want to say that it was a bit disorganized but I won't say that because it was either because of me, or the council, or the club itself. I was just like a headless chicken. I was just running everywhere. Everywhere. Just to find the right spot to 
get good shots of the bus either coming out of the stadium or turning a street or something or and going past you know like normal parades do but I was just everywhere I was by the stadium I was by a well-known pub that it's next to called the, the, the Castle Hotel eventually I found two fans and then when I went toward the town center the crowd started to build up and eventually yes eventually the bus had arrived. That was a very good uh, arrival actually. Uh, it was an experience. It is my first football celebration parade. I'd like to see more. You know, if for example, oh, I don't know, Germany happened to win again <laughs> in the World Cup. But that looks doubtful. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm not putting my hopes up up or anything. crowd were very supportive of Accrington Stanley coming into League One, which I remind you that are two tiers away from the top league of football and that's the Premier League. But I must say, they may find it a challenge because League One is almost like the key of League One is to be promoted to the Championship, which is like, yeah, nearly top of the ladder of English football. So their barriers are going to be teams like Sunderland's, uh, Blackpool, I think, maybe Bolton, if they get relegated. So. Who knows, they could go in the top half of the table next season and then get promoted the season after that. You never know. Football can be magic sometimes. But as for me, I am absolutely exhausted. Like I said, I was running around like a headless chicken all over Accrington to find the right place to film the bus coming and celebrating with the crowd and it was difficult it was difficult but maybe worth it maybe worth it so well everyone I'm going to end this t-log now like I do with all my t-logs by saying proof and goodbye